Shalom, Brother Kabad back in the GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing before I go any further. I give all praise, his honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. I know Shalom, the order sincere, I can show the four corners of the earth pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, the title of this lesson is The Lord Got Something for You, two thirds. All right, two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right, and we're just going to jump right on into the scriptures, man. You're going to jump right on into the scriptures, and Lord Williams be edifying. Let's start off with um, Sirach chapter 40, and we'll start it. Um, Eight, it says, such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. See, two-thirds of our people are sinners, man. Okay, sin is a transgression of law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father gave the Israelites. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, and you Israelite foreigners whose seed goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on your father's lineage. Okay. The Lord has something for two thirds of the sinners, man, of the nation of Israel. Verse 9 Death. Death. Right? And bloodshed, strife, and sword. All right. And all these things are going to befall our people in Jacob's trouble, man. All right. And, and, and it's going to uh, only. Uh, uh, get worse as Jacob's trouble comes along. <clears throat> it says, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. Okay, <clears throat> you know, Jake don't know anything about um, you know fasting or anything like that. <clears throat> the Lord's gonna really bring our people through it, man. You know. This is our last punishment, our last captivity. So the Lord's going to really let two-thirds have it before they, they come back, you know, reincarnate into the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed, man. And we're we, we going to get into it, you know, after this precept. You know, um, the sword is going to come down, Esau, Edom. But she's coming down now, but it's only going to get worse. You think the machinations or something, wait till you uh, refuse to take uh, the Maxine or to take the uh, the chip, which is the mark of the beast in Revelation the 13th chapter. All right, it says um, verse 10. It says these things are created for the wicked, right? The wicked Israelites, man, that don't want to repent, who are proud, right? Who worship, who who who, who are going to continue to worship idols. It's not going to, um, you know, just turn back to the heavenly Father. All right. It says, and for their sakes came the flood, because the same things is going on now, and we'll get that, are the same things that were going on in the days of Noah, okay? Let's get that. Let's get that real quick. Let's see, where is it at? <clears throat> this is uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 26. It says, and as is and, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, and they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Okay. It says, likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, drink, they brought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Why? Because Jake was being wicked. That's why the Lord brought the flood. Right? That's why the Lord destroyed Sodom and the other four cities. Okay? Because of its wickedness, man. And there's no new thing upon the sun. You know, two-thirds is back there being wicked. They're being wicked now, man. Okay? You have man with man, woman with women. You know, all type of freakism going on, man. 
eating the bomb of fools, worshiping all types of idols. All right. But that's why the Lord is bringing bloodshed, strife, famine, calamities, death. Because the same things that was going on then are the same things that's going on now, man. And they're much worse. Okay? It's going to be much worse, man. <clears throat> and this is prophecy. This is prophecy, man. Let's go to um, 2nd Ezra 15. Not 15. But 2nd Ezra is... Uh... Well, I'm going to start. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. It says, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. That's right, two-thirds. All right, it says, verse 26, jumping down, um, so, uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 26, it says, um, For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. So, <clears throat> that two-thirds club is going to be delivered to death and destruction, man. All right? Um, let's get the, uh, let's get, um, cause I'm gonna come back to this. I want to get a quick precept. This is the book of Zechariah chapter 13, verse eight. It says, um, and it shall come to pass, right? This is, this is prophecy. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die two parts two thirds of the nation of Israel but the third part shall but the third shall be left therein all right and I will bring the third part through the fire the 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 the, the, uh, the one third um um this 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 predestined to be saved man all right the Lord's gonna bring them through the fire what's the fire the 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 uh, the, uh, the, the, the fiery times that you know you go through in this truth, man. All right, and the fiery times that we have coming up. It says, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. Because when you put something through the fire, it purifies it, man. And the Lord is making us purified through this word. All right. It says, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. That's right, is our God. And that's what we're saying, man. You know, the hopeful elect, you know, Lord willing, you know, you sincere I can all right. As well as myself. We're a part of that, man. Because it's, it's gonna get bad for two thirds, man. The Lord's gonna he he look he got a special treat for them. And we're reading about it. Alright. So um back in um second Ezra chapter 15, verse 27 it says, For now all the plagues Come, come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them because when you read in the beginning of the chapter the Lord tells you that he's the one bringing the plagues right and so it says verse 27 for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them yeah you're not going to be delivered you're not going to be saved right because two thirds are, are not going to repent it says um, for Yahweh, who the word Igni calls God, that's his name in ancient Hebrew, shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. You see? So the Lord got something special, man. You know? He got something really special, man. Uh, let me get something what I got on my mind. Oh, I got it on my mind. Let me see here. Let me see here. <clears throat> I'll hold that for last. But um, let's grab another precept. I just wanted to find a precept so I wouldn't lose it. Um, this is um, Second Ezra chapter... Um, was it 16? I started on. Um... Where am I at? You know what? Here we go. 
This is um This is Sirach chapter 5 verse 4 It says say not I have sinned And what harm happened unto me And that's what a lot of our people say man I've been smoking cigarettes my whole life man I've been committing the door I've been popping dudes women Ever since I've been able to uh, Get into these clubs man You know I've been eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. I've been celebrating my birthday ever since I've been born. You know, that's what Jake say. It says, Sirach 5 and 4, say not I have sinned. And what harm happened to me? What happened to me? I'm in my full health. I feel good. Nothing's happened to me. Right? It says, for the Lord is long-suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. So he's going to eventually get you, man. He's going to eventually get you. All right? This is Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. See, the Lord says he's going to destroy the sinners of his people, man. Okay? He's going to take them out in, in, in this upcoming um, Jacob's trouble, man. Right along in World War III. Okay, and when no missiles hit, man, because that's how the Lord is going to uh, 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 get down on two thirds of our people, man. You know. So, Lord, we're going to edify until next time. I say, Shalom.